Um, I feel like it's about time for Garage Fans update. Um, I'm not going to run any of these through speeds or anything, at least not in this video. But I do want to show the fans they have right now that are installed um, and what I'm using. The humming that you hear is from the breezeway on the lower level. We'll get there shortly. Um, but the fans up here that I'm using is this Heritage Furnace and this really basic Kenroy. Um, I found this one on the side of the road. Um, spring of last year, maybe summer of last year, don't know. Um, and in this I found in the habitat scrap bin and in the blades I believe they came from a CEC hugger that I got out of an abandoned building that was going to get thrown away. So, it's a bit of a Franken fan. Um, I never got a light kit with this. This light kit's an old new stock Statco light kit. Um, and then originally I had a free arm turtle fitter on here, which is antique brass, and that ended up going on my kitchen fan, which I'll show uh, at a later point. This one's, um, actually both of these are on low speed. That might be on medium, I'm not sure. Um, this fan here, it used to hum really bad. It decided to really quiet down. This fan stays on all the time. This one's typically off, but just so happened to be on today for some reason. I guess I left it on one day. Uh, I have LEDs in both of these. That light typically there and that one stays on all the time. I might get a globe for this. Um, or a even brighter LED bulb or something. One of those like things. And I have that fluorescent light there which isn't really that helpful. Um, at least not fan related. We'll go down here and show you what I got. I do plan on putting yet another fan back up over there at some point in time. Maybe the Typhoon. Um, here in the entryway we have this 30 inch Harbor Breeze breezeway. This is my louder of my two breezeways. This one hums really bad and it's um, I don't really know why it hums so bad. Maybe it needs some isolation or something. If this one would have ran quieter, I would have honestly uh, installed this inside in my hallway, in my upstairs hallway. But as of right now, it's going to be here. And most of the time, this fan's off because of how loud it is, and I can't really use it. It does put off a good bit of air, though. Um, over here is a 52-inch Harbor Breeze Classic style. Um, I got, this was in my friend's bedroom, and the, um, it was actually a bunk bed in that room, so it pretty much is why this fan is kind of all knackered. I'm gonna have to tighten it up, it looks like it might fall off the ceiling. I just put this one up not too long ago, but it works. Um, wood up there might actually be loose too, I'm not sure. Put some bigger screws or something in there, but yeah, here's this one. Over here is a 48 inch Harbor Breeze rocket. This one I think's on medium speed. That's on low, it's either low or medium, I'm not sure. Um, I think it passed or drifted in that one, so that might actually be medium. Um, here's the rocket. Um, here's my Harbor Breeze Eatington. This fan's gotten a bit dirty, so it should probably, probably about time to get this one cleaned up, but it works. And then over here's my Harbor Breeze New Orleans, which is on high speed right now. I had some moisture control issues, and this fan has been running for the past couple weeks on high speed, so it's been doing a very good job. Um, needed to get a fan back up over here, so this one just happened to go up. Um, I'm gonna turn some of these off for tonight. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna probably turn that one off. I'm gonna leave that one on. Um, this fan. I'll drop this one down to low. This one I guess will turn off, and then we'll drop this one to low and turn the light off. If this is medium or low, we'll see if it's on low, because I'll pull the pull chain again and see what happens. This one can go off so we can have quietness. Actually, I'll probably go back over there and turn that one off. Actually, I'm going to turn off the stereo. This fan here, we're going to turn, I think this one's on low speed, so I'll pull once and it'll go off. 
the pull chain there could use some WD-40, but uh, that one there will be off. That one will stay on. Um, that's pretty much a security nightlight type deal up here. And then down here, the breezeway is still spinning down. Um, the rocket is still on, which you can't see. New Orleans is on. Plastic style is on. So it was medium. It had a nice aesthetic low, though. Um, for some reason, this fan's the saggy bent-up blade arms. Um, it's really giving me like a... Um, like a family-owned Mexican restaurant uh, type vibe here. And actually, that's what um, it's on a video call from another collector earlier, and he was actually saying that. And then there's the rocket. I'll turn the light off on there. And then there's a nice look at that fan there running with the security light on right above it. Kind of a nice, cool little insole there. And then you can see the light from the end con up there. I'll go outside. I'll get some outside shots where I can try to see if I can get the security light to show up on both of these two fans here. Yeah, I can't really get over how nice that looks. It's like freezing out here. But we can peep in here to the side window of the garage and see it. And... Has a nice little fan shadow going on down there. And as a bonus, here's a look at the kitchen fan I mentioned earlier. So I guess I'll leave this video off for today. Thank you very much for watching and keep the breeze.